hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl paris but anyways y'all how y'all doing today i'm going to be reviewing this hair from sinosher i think that's what their name is from aliexpress this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig this is brazilian kinky and i have a 22 inch so here you just see me opening up the hair showing you all the goodies i received there's a cap um, even though it's too light for my head. Also, um, it came in this little bag here. Well, it came in that pink bag, but then it came in there as well. It didn't have any like foul smells or anything like that. It also came with these beautiful eyelashes, which I actually wore <laughs> when I went out with my friend this past weekend. I love those lashes. Um, also, you will see um, that I'm trying to just take all the stuff out the package so you guys can see. But anyway, so here is the wig. Um, it was really bouncy. It was really full. Well, it was 150 density too, by the way. And um, I think they bleached the knots, but they were just not bleached enough for my liking. So you just see me here um, holding the wig up in my camera so you guys can pretty much just see the length and also the baby hairs. Um, this wig was really, really full. And um, yeah, so this is the wig, the lace frontal, where you guys can see where I'm just trying to show you how much um, parting you do have and also the color of the lace. And then those are the baby edges, which were um, really nice. I love the edges on this wig and they were really, really soft. Okay, so right here, you just see me taking out my BW powder bleach because I'm going to, you know, just lighten up that lace a little bit. So um, I got this from my local beauty supply store. What you guys will also see is me putting in the developer. I bought a 30 developer and yeah, I'm still new at this, so I'm not even gonna act like I'm just, you know, being at this because I'm still learning how to do this, but I was doing this without any gloves. I would not recommend people to do that. Um, so please don't do that because it's really not good. I was doing it because I have done this before and yeah, I, I knew I would just hurry up and rush and do it. So that is the 30 developer. I'm gonna be mixing it up with this makeup brush. Please do not judge me y'all because I could not find um, my comb that I usually, it's like a comb brush thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I usually use that to mix up the bleaching powder. So I'm gonna be just mixing this to the consistency that I want it in. Usually when you are doing lace frontals, I would recommend to make sure you have more of a thick consistency because if it is too watery, it will droop through the lace and you don't want it to do that. Okay, so as you can see, I just um, put the bleach, well, applied the bleach to the lace. I'm now washing it off. I did let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to wash this off really, really good. Um, I had to use that bag just because I didn't want 
the bleach to get on my fingers and it burned my hands. Yes, y'all, please don't do this at home. I just was rushing and just trying to finish it and I couldn't find my scissors that day. I couldn't find my gloves or anything. But anyway, so I am just washing all that bleach off the lace. I'm making sure it's all the way off it because you don't want, like I said, it to sink through and, and then it will get on the hair. So as you can see, it did bleach the hair not the hair sorry it did bleach the lace um a little bit how i wanted i didn't want to do it like i didn't want it to to do it too too much but now i am using the shimmer lights conditioner um just to take away that bronzy look that is on the lace and um yeah so you guys will see me just washing this and then um you'll also see me washing and conditioning the hair which it did have minimum um shedding it really didn't shed that much and I felt as though I needed to put more of that shampoo on my lace because it just was not um, taking out that bronzy look. So I put it on there again and then after that I just um, shampooed and conditioned the hair. Okay, so it's the next day. Well, actually the next morning. And um, so I just apply my stocking cap onto my head and I did poke those little holes over by the ears just so that it can lay flatter. Um, that's a technique that I have learned just from watching, you know, people do lace widths in YouTube. Again, guys, I am not a professional. This is just something that, um, you know, I kind of taught myself how to do just from watching videos. Um, but anyways, so you do see me right now just spraying down the cap just so that um, it can hold onto my head. So when I do apply the lace, you know, it doesn't move or go anywhere. And then, you know, this video is kind of like for beginners. So the purpose of the cap is just so that it can kind of like look like your skin tone. And there is my daughter Moon. She's so busy. She always want to be in the camera. Um, but anyway, so you guys would just see me. You know, just basically laying that cap down, honey, just making sure that it is right and tight. And also, you will also see me having the hair and just, just showing you guys just how it looked the next day. So here I am applying some of my Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. I forget what color this is. I'll put it in the description below, but it's obviously darker than my skin tone. But I just find that when I do use darker foundations, um, it kind of just make the scalp, um, you know, just look a little bit more realistic when I do apply the lace. 
and then I'm just spraying more of the got to be free spray on that foundation just so that it does not move and um, it just kind of like dries it out so it's not slippery or oily and then I'm just wiping off the excess foundation off of my forehead because when you do apply your wig you do not want to have any oils or anything like that on your hair because the wig will not stick also make sure when you guys are wiping the excess makeup or whatever it is on your forehead off make sure you are using 99% um, alcohol so that um, you know it kind of just dries it back out because if your skin is oily um, or anything like that the lace is not going to stick and then you just see me blow drying my hair well blow drying the cap and um, so now as you can see it looks uh, up the part and i am just gonna go get the hair so i can show you all how it looks um this hair i loved it by the way um again i ordered this hair from um Sinosier hair from maybelline and shout out to my cousin bernard rest in peace i have his shirt on today in this video um but anyway the hair dried very nicely um it actually looked better and felt better after i washed and conditioned it i really really recommend you all getting this hair i really loved it a lot and also when i washed it conditioned it and combed through it it actually became even more thicker i did notice that so it is always good to you know co-wash your hair or either just do like a full wash um routine when you do get the hair it's again it is 22 inches this is a 13 by 4 closure and i love the way um the lace came out after i bleached it it looked really really nice um it's like you can literally see your skin right through it so i did appreciate that the only thing is um i think that it could have been um well the edges and stuff could have been plucked a little bit more um i was gonna pluck it but i just didn't really feel like it so right here you're just seeing me you know just testing the wig out on my scalp well on my head also I just wanted to, you know, just make sure that it was tight. Um, it did not come in a laxative band. I wish that it did, but I just, you know, tightened it up in the inside. Okay, so right here, I am taking my powder. Um, I think I got ordered this powder from ColourPop. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that I put a little bit inside of the lace just so that it can look exactly you know like my skin tone so i'm just putting that inside of the lace and then i am applying my bold hold and usually when i apply the bold hold i apply three layers on this video i think i only did two now you want to make sure that you are applying it um you know of course in front of your cap and also on your cap i feel as though when you apply it on the cap and right in front of the cap it allows the lace to stick to something so if you're just trying to stick it on one little part like a thin layer is not going to hold so you want to make sure that you are putting a little bit of that glue on the cap i mean you're not going to take out your edges because you do have your cap on so um when the glue goes clear then that's when you know it's time to apply but me what i did right here is i applied another layer you know just so that it can hold a, a lot longer and i find that though when i do do that my wigs stay on at least a week we can have sometimes longer just depends um so i'm just applying that evenly in the same spot and then once the glue um goes back clear I will apply the wig So now that the glue has dried after the second layer, 
as you can see i am pulling the wig to my edges where the cap starts well i actually pulled it a little bit over the cap of course and i'm gonna just take my blow dryer and i'm gonna make sure that i do dry those edges first because i feel like with the edges it's like the hardest thing to stick i feel like the middle um the center always sticks so i'm gonna take my little rat tooth comb and then that actually just helps me to lay down you know just the top how it needs to lay down instead of you know the hair just sticking to the lace so as i take my comb through the hair it's just helping me um you know just lay it lay that lace down also why i'm blow drying it I'm taking my scissors right now and I'm just cutting off that excess lace um, around my head. Um, you can see a little bit of the white residue because off camera, I did have to spray a little got to be free spray on that side um, where you do see because it just will not lay down. So I did have to spray a little bit of that on the edges and um, I will, you know, later in this video clean it up with some of the alcohol and then also when you take more of the free spray and you spray it on top of that that also you know just cleans up that white residue so right now i'm just simply making sure that the lace is sticking and cutting off any pieces of lace that i do see left around my ear So when you do have your wig laid down, of course, there's always going to be those little pieces in the front that still lifts up. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to take more of the bold hole and I'm going to take my comb and I'm just going to put some of that bold hole glue on the edge of my comb and then just fill in those areas at the very top where the lace is still lifting up a little bit. And then once you get that part to lay down, then you're pretty much good. And then you can start on those edges, girl. Now I'm just simply separating the baby hairs from the hair. Um, I'm gonna take my tweezers, I'm gonna thin them out a little bit, and then I'm gonna also take my scissors and just cut them because they were absolutely too long. I just feel as though the thinner and the shorter they are, the better. Um, I also just want to show you guys that the lace was on very tight, and um, I'm just excited for you guys to see how nice it did come out. Okay, so now that I've tweezed and cut 
the baby hairs i'm gonna take that cantu mousse is really good it's not that cheap hard mousse um it makes them very soft i'm gonna take that i'm gonna apply into the baby edges well to the baby hairs i keep saying baby edges but the baby hairs and i'm gonna also take that little brush because that helps me form the edges um really well also guys please make sure that you are very careful about the amount of mousse um, that you are applying to your edges because you don't want your lace to lift up so um i just gently place it on top of my edges i don't even put a whole lot just a little bit and what the mousse does is it keeps the baby edges um here i go again the baby hairs in place and um instead of them looking all hard and crunchy it just helps them look really natural and soft So now that I have my edges the way that I want them, which is thin and natural looking, I'm just um, placing a little bit of the got to be spray on the white parts that looks, you know, like that white residue. I'm just applying it um, to the lace and to the hair because it just helps clean it up. I'm now taking um, my scarf and I'm just gonna wrap this silk scarf around the edges because of course, when you do that, that just helps the lace to just melt in your skin. So you just want to wrap that around um, really nice and tight and then style your hair. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of water, um, my little spray bottle there, my little purple spray bottle. I'm going to take that water and um, I'm just going to, you know, just wet the hair a little bit because it was just too poofy, but I did want to comb it out um, just to see, you know, how big it get. And then I put a little bit of that Cantu um, foam lotion on there as well. And um, I didn't want to really wear the hair down, but I did want it to be a little thinner just because it was just too big for my liking. So um, I'm taking that spray bottle, which is actually my daughter's on. I actually use that for her hair. Um, it's like a little bit of conditioner in there, um, but, but mostly it's water. So that actually did help the hair, um, you know, just lay down a lot more. Like I said, I did not want to wear the hair down, but I did want to you know, just have it looking more um, curlier than big and poofy. So I did take that foam Cantu lotion and put it on both sides. I purchased that from my local beauty supply store. And then as you can see, the curls were really pretty. So I'm just taking off that scarf so that you guys can see how it looks. I'm taking a little bit of my powder from ColourPop just to put on the edges right there just so it can look um, more realistic. And that's usually what you wanna do to your lace. You wanna put a little bit of powder um, on those edges so it can look very flawless. So I'm just taking a little bit of that. And then I am going to just straighten out the front of the hair because um, I was supposed to go order me a straightening comb but i did not get a chance to do it so i just took my one curler and i straightened out the very top i had to part it again just to make sure that the part was in the center and um, i sprayed a little bit of the got to be spray on there and then i just straightened out the front of it so you all will also see that and um yeah you'll see how it came out
love this hair again everything will be in the description below so make sure you check out this company um i will be putting in my discount code um also make sure um make sure you guys stay tuned for my next vlog because i will be in west palm and i have some exciting things going on business wise so make sure that you guys are watching stay tuned make sure you hit that notification bell you will be notified okay so yes i'm really happy with this and period <laughs> that is it okay smooches <laughs>